and it's done by hey 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 there we go fireworks Hello there, welcome to the One Take Situation channel. This video will be longer than the usual. I assure you, it's full of details that will be resourceful to some of you. I've also merged elements that will offer some sort of entertainment value to a few of you. So, grab a plate of food, grab a beer, grab a soju, grab some nuts, do what you gotta do, but uh, sit back, relax, and hopefully you enjoy this video. Here's the final breakdown for those who are in here only for a quickie, but uh, for the others, come on, let me show you what led to these scores. Hey, 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 what up y'all? I'm here at the sort of hidden gym here at the Cosmopolitan. Just getting a little cardio in before I head out to my buffet adventures and checking out some YouTube videos. Is it buffet or buffet? I'm liking this way too much, huh? Whichever it is, since we're here in the gym, let's call it buffet. Oh boy. All right, y'all, let's head out. I'm gonna show you the two big boys in town. Yeah, yeah. Check it out, guys. I'm trying to find Uber. Ladies. Yes. I'm trying to find Uber out here. This way. The buffet at Wynn and Bacchanal at Caesars will both be around $80 to $100 effective. Ooh, what you say? Back in my days, buffets were cheap. Rawr. Prime rib buffets. All you can eat for under six dollars. Damn, did that big cat just talk to me? Where's the Westward Ho? Uh, my Uber ride is here. Watch your head. Could you take me back when Vegas offered $6 buffets? Okay, but it might be surge pricing. Preferably to the westward. Ho! What? This resort features free circus acts, including high trapeze artists. Grand Slam Canyon features a huge roller coaster, log rides, and special effects theaters. The auto collection at the Imperial Palace contains many famous cars once owned by the famous or the infamous, and will then become the largest hotel in the world. With over 5,000 rooms, the world's largest casino, and a full theme amusement park for the entire family. Each hour, a ship-to-ship -ship cannon battle will include live actors. The Luxor Hotel Casino is a new resort being built by Circus Circus Enterprises in the shape of a pyramid symbolizing eternal life. So much to do, so much to see for the whole family. That's Las Vegas today. The best country show west of Branson, Missouri. Back to the future! Oh boy, hope you enjoyed that one. If you time traveled with me, like, comment, and subscribe, please. Thank you. All right, let's see if this guy has anything to say. Uh, I guess nothing. All right, cool. All right. Beautiful walkway here at the Wynn. The most luxurious, gorgeous casino in Vegas. All right, the buffet. Simply the buffet. My first time trying it, so uh, I'm excited here. Venue is bright and colorful makes you want to frolic to the buffet stations. This, if you want to skip the line and live large. Ooh wee. I'm doing the gourmet dinner, which happens on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and it's $70, which is $5 more than the usual nights. They don't take reservations, but they do a thing called prepaid priority seating, which is initiated through their website. I highly recommend you take that route. Mine was set up just a few hours before arrival. Been in line for about 15 minutes. We're almost there. Here's some basic rules of buffet engagement that we should always follow. This is the main dining area. You got the east side and the west side, and you got the carving station right in the middle. All right, I'm not sure which is the east or the west side, but uh, we'll call this side the far side, and we'll start here. All right, some fresh fruit sliced up. 
salad ingredients here. Mix them up. Ooh, these look interesting. Prosciutto and melon, strawberry walnut salad, Italian wedge salad, chef's special menu, some fresh fruit juices here with flour on top, and some soup if you need to warm up a little bit. Standard stuff. Some standard charcuterie items. What kind of salami is this? It's a hard salami. Some cheese. Hey, shout out to my Wisconsin friends out there. This is the cooked seafood section. That was the, uh, the rice thing with the uh, hamachi. And here's the steamed crab legs. And many of you might come here for this. Here's the pizza department. Ooh, looks hot. I've already ate a few slices. My favorite dish so far. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, but let's move on. A few more Italian dishes. Beef stragonoff. Tuscan pasta. Wow, that looks good. More standard pasta. Oh, that's lasagna. Oh, uh, this is birria, and it's transitioning into Mexican food. Pork carnita tamales. So, all right, y'all. Here's the tacos. Oh boy, that sizzling sound is so appetizing. There's a uh, fish tacos if you want that too. What is that? That might be a buche right there, huh? Ready, come and get it. Here's some regional American food. Some Cajun corn, jambalaya, mashed potatoes, and... Hey, some buttery carrots, guys. Some bread. Hey, this breadstick reminds me of the breadstick at Rivia at the Delano, one of my favorite restaurants. Video link will be in the description box. Ooh, those look juicy. I gotta try one of these for sure. Here's some vegetarian options. The founder of Wynn Hotel, Steve Wynn, he's a vegetarian, so uh, they have pretty good vegetarian selections here. Chef special. Mac and cheese, some rice, and some mashed squash. All right, this is the, uh, the Asian section. Fried rice and lo mein looks legit enough. I think so far that's one of my favorites here so far, the Mongolian beef. I've already tasted that one and it was delicious. Uh, here's the Asian kitchen. Egg drop soup, drop it like it's hot. Here's a few dim sum items. kimchi guys i'll get some of that kimchi huh that might be the only korean item uh here's the tuna tartar all right we're going to transition to some american style sushi some standard california rolls more rolls and nigiri jonah's crab claws and some mussels the usual cocktail shrimp and at the end chilled snow crab legs with butter all right, now we've reached this end from the other end. I skipped the carving station for now. We'll get back to that later, but uh, let's eat. All right, y'all. Uh, first impression, right off the bat, I have a feeling that Bacchanal would be way better uh, just looking at the food. But And the only time it could be okay to judge a book by its cover is when it comes to food. Don't get me wrong, it doesn't look bad, but it just doesn't look like it's on par with Bacchanal level. Okay? Yeah, thank okay. you. Enjoy. Yeah, thank you. All right. So the Mongolian beef, it's tasty. The Mongolian beef ended up being one of my favorites. Kimchi is the only Korean out of myself. No chapche, no kalbi, no sunde, no chokbal. But still, kimchi chak. Kimchi chak. That's Costco kimchi. This is the uh, the birria. Let me see how this tastes. Mm. 
Let's try the low man. Huh, good. All right, you know, gotta get some salad in me, so Caesars and this is a remix. Remix. All right, y'all. For some reason, the salmon was calling my name, so. All right, let's get it out of the way. <laughs> the rice is a little uh, rocky, but you know, at least the rice ratio is not as prevalent as uh, Caesar's uh, back in home. Yeah, the rice is not it. <laughs> let's do the shrimp shack, guys. Straight off the bat, one of my favorites, this is at Bacchanal was their prawns and uh, they don't have the prawns here like they do at Bacchanal. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what this is, but these no crab legs are scrawnier than the ones served at Bacchanal. It just tastes like salt stick. I didn't enjoy it. Yeah. This is the Jonas Crab Claw. Yeah, this is uh, not even half as good as the one at uh, Bacchanal. It tastes frozen. The texture is mushy and lacks any crab flavor. It took me like two minutes to pop this open, but uh, I'm just beginning to realize why I don't like uh, this type of seafood. It's just too much work to get this little, little, little piece. And I got lucky with this piece. This was not labor intensive. This was at Emerald's. Video link in the description. I guess I found a quick hack. You gotta cut the legs one way and the other way, and you just put your chopstick through it. All right, see? Just push it out. Ooh I did All it. Right. I'm not sure how to eat this, but I'm getting so lazy, I want to just bite into it, huh? Tastes like ocean. Not a good idea. <laughs> Be careful biting into it, because there's sharp pieces that could rip your mouth. Yeah, it's just overly salty. Uh, so far, back and all the way. Especially the seafood, I think. Let's see what the carving station does. A little later. All right. This came out fresh. This came out fresh. This wasn't, but uh, I gotta do the pizza check, right? Check it out. So far, it's been one of my favorite dishes. And it's one of the better buffet pizzas I've had. I only picked this up because right when I was standing there, they just brought it out fresh. Oh, is that rice? I'm doing. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Uh oh. If one is questioning, is that rice? We might have a problem. If this is supposed to be rice, it's the worst rice I've ever had in my life. But I'm. Hoping that maybe it's not rice, because there's no way you could botch rice like this. This is crazy. If this is rice, wow. Yeah, that's a hard no. Let's go back to the pizza, guys. Yeah, pizza. I'm a little worried about this. This is a gumbo. Uh oh. And it looks like it has the same rice from the ahi tuna. But uh, I'll eat it anyways for you guys. That texture is like porridge, but it's not porridge. It's mushy and it's kind of gross. <laughs> All right, moving on. I'm trying to keep it positive here. I don't know if you hear it, but I'm just trying to laugh this off and move forward. Carving station, here I come. This is grilled chicken. Check it out. Sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. Rotisserie chicken and turkey. Assortment of pork roast, including the pineapple ham. Selection of sauces for your carving needs. Woo. This is pepper pork belly. Wow, look at that, guys. Woo. Manok chicken on top and a sausage fest. Do you have duck? No duck. Yeah, okay, thank you. I asked just to make sure because Bacchanal offers duck. Alrighty, but hey, at least they got beef steamship. That's brisket right next to it and the prime rib. Oh, 
Oh boy, anyone else getting hungry right now? Comment below, let me know, I'll feed you. Right next door, they offer a Penang seafood curry, chef cooking station. Select what you like and boom, 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 he'll make it for you. Right, uh, this is some kind of seafood penang that they made fresh. Uh, he's putting a bunch of seafood in there with mussels, clams, and uh, some other stuff. But uh, you know, I saw the beef rib and I had to grab it. This is huge, half a pound of beef right here. Yeah, it smells good. It smells sweet. And this is a little lasagna. This could be a whole meal for some of us. Oh yeah, the ligament down there. Let me take a bite. All right, let's try the lasagna here. There's a Whitney Houston song in the background that's making me go extra with this fork action here. Oh boy. All right, that is not good. It's cold, it's hard, it's not good. All right, so the Penang, this is tasty, I guess, because it's freshly made. Yeah. It has an essence of Thai flavor in here. A little sweetness, sourness. A little, little kick of spiciness. I recommend this one if you want to. Let's take a real bite this time. Grab this bone. It weighs about a pound. Oh yeah, it's juicy, robust, and that little cilantro gives it a nice little refreshing touch. Delicious. This is the, uh, the carving station. With the usual sidekicks, mashed potatoes, corn, and some mac and cheese. That's the beef steamship on top. That's the prime rib, and that's the brisket. I asked for a fatty piece and they obliged. And this one is a fat piece of, I think, uh, the pepper pork belly that they were slicing up. Prime rib with the necessary horseradish sauce. Oh, not great, but uh, good enough. Some cream corn, mashed potatoes, and mac and cheese. All the sidekicks were delicious and tasty. In terms of the beef, it wasn't the greatest, but you know what? It was good enough and it got the job done. All right. This is straight up fat. Fat boys. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Whew, what a dessert layout. Gorgeous. I saw this here. Yeah, that, that's all I need. Don't be greedy. Yeah. It's clearly evident that the dessert section is a strong point to this buffet. It's about a quarter of the offerings at Bacchanal, but what they offer is concise and precise. All right, y'all, dessert time. We could tell right away that these desserts will be delicious. It looks legit. Supposedly this is hot, hot churro. Little, little, little fun size hot churro. Let's go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ooh, something's coming out. <laughs> I stuck that out like, a, like it was a escargot. go. <laughs> little pecan. Oh yeah, that's tasty. One of my favorites of all time, Ch simple cheesecake. All right. It cracked.
Can you eat this? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I'm not sure. Well, I did it. I swallowed it. So I hope. I think I'll be okay. Woo! That's delectable, huh? My favorite. It's not green tea, it's a mint chip. Uh, this is, wow, this is pretty good. One of the best I've ever had. The gelato is real good here. It's creamy, it's powerful, but it's not overly sweet. It's the highlight of this buffet. It's one of the best I've ever had. That's it. Maybe it got overhyped. Maybe it got something this and that, but this is what happened. I ran out of things I want to eat before I got full, if that makes any sense. Uh, and that's a sign that this buffet didn't work for me in terms of, uh, especially at this price point. Uh, I would definitely rather pay the extra 20 bucks or so and go to back and all. Uh, so let's go to Caesars. Caesars Palace. All right, my videos are usually not this long, but if you're still on here and someone enjoying this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.